Hi guys, Alec Pierce Scuba, vintage scuba. Now I want to tell you something. I don't get paid to do this. I have no sponsors. I don't try to sell you anything. I'm just doing it for fun. But I'm going to tell you that lately I've been having a lot of fun, particularly with the vintage scuba part, because I have stacked boxes and boxes and boxes of vintage gear from 60 years of scuba diving, 50 years in the scuba business. I have all I never throw anything out. I got everything. Advertisements, posters, all everything. And when I, when I decide, Kevin calls me and says, we have to do some more vintage Cuba. Okay, I pull a couple of boxes out, I open the boxes up, and I find some neat junk. Stuff I haven't seen for 30 and 40 years. Stuff with some great stories behind it. Boy, I'll tell you stories. Well, I can't tell you all the stories because this is public uh, the media. But I have stories, all the neat stuff, and I have a lot of fun. I'll sometimes spend two hours to get one little item out looking at all the other old stuff. Ah, maybe I'm old, maybe I'm So anyway, today I have something interesting, okay? This right here that you're looking at, this right here, I know you all recognize this, right? This hasn't been made since the 60s. This right here is called a Johnson Airboy. Johnson Airboy, that's B-U-O-Y, okay? All girls relax, not B-O-Y. Johnson Airboy. Now this was made under other names. There was, a, there was the Evan Rood Scuba Boy. And there was the, uh, the OMC Aquanaut, all the same machine, identical. Came from the same manufacturer. Actually, I think those uh, marine companies were all owned by the same people. But anyway, actually, uh, academic. Johnson Airboy. So what the heck is a Johnson Airboy? Well, this was one of the neatest things that ever came along in vintage diving. They still make something similar to this today. There's a company called um, Brownies, Brownies Third Lung in Florida. Fantastic products. I've worked with them many times in the past, and they make a lot of neat products just like this. But number one, 19 is 2017. 19 is 2017, so they are very expensive, first of all, and much more sophisticated. And of course, they're not vintage. This is vintage, 1967. That's right. You remember that year? How long is that now? 67 would be. Would be. Is that 60 years? 60 years. 60 years ago, this was made. Look at it, in perfect condition. Oh, I be careful, I don't want to start it. I have to put some gas in it first. So what is it? What is a Johnson Airboy? Simple. This is a compressor. That's right, it's a compressor. Gasoline power compressor. That's right, yeah, you see right over here, there's a gas tank lid. Take the gas lid off and you put gasoline in there. Now it's a two-stroke engine, so you put a mixture of gas and oil in, the right mixture, 50 to 1 mixture, and there's a choke, pull the choke up, boom, bum, 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 off it goes. That was me, not the machine, by the way, making those sounds, eh? and off it goes. And, and there are two compressors. There's a gasoline engine in the middle, you see, and there's a compressor on each side. That's right. And then <clears throat> what you can do with this is you can hook a line. Watch this. There's a line right there, snaps on, click, like that, right onto there. And the air comes out of that compressor, and down this yellow hose, 25 feet long, and down underwater, and it goes right into this mask. That's right, snaps into this mask somewhere, oh, over here. <laughs> snaps right into here, like that. Ah, and this goes onto your back with a strap, like so, and, and this mask comes up <clears throat> around under your arm, like so, and the mask is over your face, like this, and you put it on, like so, that's right 25 feet and what does this do it stays on the surface well sure this is a very lightweight engine <laughs> no no it's actually held on the surface by a large floating tube like an inner tube there it is right there vinyl bright orange for safety and this goes around the johnson airboy like so and then you inflate this and you, and, and, and you set this on the service, boom, start the engine, and you and your buddy, off you go. Scuba diving with no tanks. Fantastic idea. Cheap, a lot of fun. You stay down there for half an hour. You don't have to worry about decompression sickness or anything. That's just great. I'm going to stop for a minute. I'm going to inflate this, get the two masks on there. I'll give you another demonstration of how this works. I'm going to show you another couple of neat things about it, and we'll talk some more about the Johnson Airboy. Back in a minute. I'm back. Yeah, here it is. We're all hooked up now. Let me see what's left. Uh, like to put some gas in. No problem. Mix the gas up. Pull the chokes. To, oh, oh, hold on. I got to put on the on the uh, exhaust intake. <clears throat> this was a special tube that goes down into the engine. This goes to the exhaust. You see, and the exhaust comes out the top, and then the engine 
air intake is right beside it. And up here, there's a little square tabs there for your dive flag. You put your dive flag up there. Yeah, yeah. Now you see what we have here. You see here? Floating inner tube. So let's go. Hang on, I'll be, I'll be down. I'll see you at the water. So you grab this and you take this down to the water with your buddy. He's all hooked up and you put this in the water. Boom, 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 off you go. How you doing? Okay, see ya. It's just that easy. There you go, the Johnson Airboy or one of the other uh, similar machines from the days, from the 60s. That's exactly right. Now, I have, uh, I have a couple of things here of interest. This is the, uh, the parts catalog for the Scuba, oh, Scuba Boy. That's right, it wasn't called Scuba Boy. They called it that, but it wasn't. His actual name was Scuba Boy. This, uh, this was the one that was made by uh, OMC, Scuba Boy, same company, uh, Scuba Boy, owner's manual for the Scuba Boy. And then the other one, Oh, there's a service manual. You can see a good picture there, Kevin, of the whole device on the surface. Can you see that at all? Yeah. And then the other one, same one, same machine, came out at the same time, was the Aquanaut. Now, the Aquanaut was from, uh, hang on a minute now, Evinrude. Yes, the Aquanaut was from Evinrude. So there's the Aquanaut. There's the uh, uh, owner's manual and, and, uh, and a parts catalog. So there's all the parts for the whole darn thing. And, and uh, that's it, this, yep, parts catalog for the Aquanaut. So they were just great devices. As a matter of fact, they were very, very well known and very popular, popular mechanics. You can't get much popular than popular mechanics. <laughs> anyway, popular mechanics, let me just see here. I think it's right here, one, there it is. There it is right there. There's a three, four page article about the Aquanaut. And you can see the parts break down there. And you see a couple of divers under the water. Scuba diving, they got air coming out. See the bubbles? But they don't have tanks on, what's with that? Well, sure, if you can look close, you see the little line that's going up to the surface. So the floating Aquanaut. You see that, Kev? There's the two divers down in the boat, and it talks in here, and the rest of the article, it talks about how handy they are. And, and, and it says a couple of things. If you're scuba divers, <clears throat> If you're scuba divers, you might laugh about this. It says, the reason that hoses were only 25 feet long, hang on a minute, next page, is, is that if it's less than 30 feet, you can't get decompression sickness. Well, now there's some truth to that. You know, if you're a, if you're a very uh, knowledgeable diver, you know that's not completely true, but for all intents and breaths, quite true. But I read the whole article in detail, <clears throat> and it said you don't need any training, you don't need any special equipment, everything's right here, that's it. Buy it, put gas in it, go diving. It doesn't say anything about air embolism. It doesn't say anything about being careful on the way up. It doesn't say anything about breathing on the, and, uh, so, uh, you know, the, the article was maybe a little more optimistic than the actual truth. However, the fact is that these machines from the 60s and the 70s were very, very popular. And now you can say you've seen one. You've seen a, a Johnson Airboy. Have you ever seen one of these? They, they still become available. In fact, I have a friend who lives in Florida and he has two or three of these. He owns a marina. And he still had and keeps them in good shape. He's got the service manuals and they're just, they're just small engines. He keeps them in good shape and he still uses these. 50 years old, these machines. He still uses them around his marina for cleaning boats and doing minor commercial work. I guess for having fun too. Because think about it, it'd be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? You know, no tanks or anything else. You're just out for a day of scuba diving, having fun, maybe on a shallow wreck and you get yourself a couple of air boys. Be a hoot. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for making me dig this junk out to show you because I've had fun doing this as well. There you go, Alec Pierce, Finti Scuba, 50-year-old airboy in perfect working condition. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.